It is a beautiful day out here. It's January, it's 60 degrees and sunny. And tomorrow it's supposed to rain and get down to like 20 degrees. And I'm really hoping that that cold front coming in has got the fish stirred up, ready to eat. The surf looks great today. We got two to three foot waves out here. And between that and the cold front coming, I'm really hoping that today is a successful winter surf fishing day. I just chose a sandbar that's real close. And between these two bars, there's a bar over here and a bar over there. Still a bar here, but there's a little bit of a rip current going on right here. All that water is moving through this trough and getting sucked out. And the same with this trough. And I'll be using various flavors of fish bites today. I'm going to go ahead and cut some up, get started. And as you can see, I cut a bunch up at the same time. Saves you a bunch of time out here. All right, get this one right where the waves are coming up and crashing just behind it we'll put this one over here in the wash right in front of that sandbar see if anything's cruising close launch this one a little bit past the bar and then this one i'm gonna put this one far i'm gonna sling it give it a good old cast on it as ninja dagger gets it out there I think I missed a hit. It's a line waving in the wind. I'm over there playing on my phone. Oh yeah, there's a fish. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's only been like five minutes. It's been so slow out here. I just assumed to go sit in the sand and play on my phone. All right, we got some good head shakes on it. Running in. Oh man, it's feeling like a pop. Come on, man, that pre front pop. And it's a pump. That felt a lot heavier than that little dude. I think there was two of them on there. That was on a green float. I did have a green shrimp fish bite on there. I'm not sure how it fell off. That's pretty crazy. They usually stay on. And a piece of shrimp. Little guy. Oh, he got me with the barbs. Little guy right there. Yeah, they got these barbs on their belly and they are sharp. And these little pump almost always get me because I put it right in my hand like a dummy. But get this guy back and I'm gonna send that rod back out there. Hopefully that's where they're cruising at. If I get another bite on that rod, I will move a second rod way out there. Thanks buddy. And with the way that fish was pulling in those strong head shakes and the weight of it, there, there had to have been two pomp on there. That was not that one pompano. I'm fairly certain of that. I think it got off on the bar. All right, get some more shrimp, green shrimp fish bite on there. And launch this back out. I did throw it far. And this is my Ninja 12 foot with Battle 3 DX 5000 reel. There we go. And yeah, if I get another hit on this, that's where they're at. I did get a report recently that they were cruising far. You know what? This rod over here is going off. There's a fish on it. Get that drag a little less. Sweet. I had a feeling they'd be munching today. <laughs> yes and this rod was just past the bar yeah it feels like another probably little guy but we'll take it it has been so slow out here i don't know this got some good shakes to it come on buddy come on in he's splashing Sweet, Pompa no, baby. And that looks keeper size. They are here, man. Went for a yellow float with shrimp. And this was just shrimp. I did not put a fish bite on this one. Back to back Pompa no. That is definitely a keeper. He's probably about 12 inches. It feels so good to be catching some wintertime Pompa no. All right, get this baited back up. Nice fresh piece of shrimp on there. And this is frozen shrimp. I bought it from Half Hitch and uh, lob this back out. Wasn't too far. This one was like maybe 10, 20 yards past the bar. I just put a good lob on it. There we go. After those two pompano, the bite just completely stopped. But I'm back out here. It's a couple days later. This is like two days after that cold front came through. And there's actually another cold front coming in 
tomorrow morning. So I'm fishing pre-front again. The beach all looks pretty much the same where I'm at, but I stopped here because there's a nice big hole. And this hole, all this water is getting sucked out here. A little rip current over there. So I got one bait in that rip. Got one just past the bar here. One as far as I could cast. And then my end rod over here is like right on the bar. Is that a fish? Oh, I'm over here playing. Oh man, I was packing up to move and a fish. Yes, finally, been out here for two hours, not a bite. Oh, I really was just about to move down the beach and hooked up. This is a good fish too. Nice, strong, slow head shakes on it. Feeling like a good drum and that's what we want. move these rods out of the way I'm gonna have to put my rods back out i really am these two rods right here i was get, getting them ready to put in the cart move down the beach a little bit look over and this one's just going off oh yeah that's a good fish man Come on, buddy. Yeah, he's, he's, he's right behind that bar, I think. He's going to be reluctant. Oh, I see him in the way. There's some splashing. The water's too murky. Can't tell what it is yet. But I saw that tail. Yeah, that ain't no stingray. That looks like a big old drum. I do have my waders, because I'm probably gonna get wet. But I ain't gonna be able to put them on while I'm fighting it. There we go, got him over the bar. He should come right to shore now. Still don't know what kind of fish it is. I'm guessing big ugly. That's my guess. He's kind of lazy. Redfish usually fight a little harder. I don't know, It's it might be a red, man. If it's a red, it's a big one. Yeah, it's a red. Oh man, that's a nice big red. Dang, he's just lazy. Lazy red. Come on, man. Oh, it's gonna be hard to do by myself. I hate this spot. This is the worst right here. Yeah, he's, he's done for right there. Oh man, this is a monster red. yeah whoa buddy that's a good one right there he ate a purple and white float with a kakina clam fish bite and that is a number one owner mutu light circle hook and this is a single drop i did not not using a pump and a rig i do have a single drop beautiful red right there he is definitely heavy i do not think oh that water's coming out i don't want to get my feet wet That'll be bad out here in the cold. He had some good pulls, good head shakes, but he was lazy. That's why I thought it was a black drum. We get a measurement on this dude and put him back in the water. Just eyeballing it, he looks about to be 36, 37 inch. Big bull right there. Put my waders on real quick. I uh, do not want to get wet because I want to make sure I get him in the water real good. And these drum, they actually do pretty well out of the water for a little while. So he'll be all right. Let's get you back in the water. I wanna get a good release on him. I don't like dropping him in the shallows. 
like getting them in the, the deeper water. There he goes. Yeah. Thanks for the fight, buddy. Oh man, I got another rod going off. All right. It pulled some drag. All right, he's still there. Sweet. I just heard drag look over. This rod's bent over. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a... I'm hoping there's some drum. Big school of them out there. This rod was about in that same spot. You can see this rip. You can barely see the current going out. And I got had both those rods right in that area. Just past the sandbar. I didn't even get a chance to throw the other rod back out. I'd like to throw it back out. But what are you going to do, right? This one might even be bigger. It's heavy. Let's tighten this drag down a little bit. Don't feel any head shakes, though. just wait oh there we go there we go now he's running waking up yeah oh man oh to me it's just so funny I'm literally packing up to move and uh Rods start going off. And now my feet are cold. I took my shoes off. Should have left my waders on. I'm going to have to put them back on anyways. And I just take my time with these fish. You know, just pump, pull the rod up, reel down. If they go for a run, just let them run. They'll tire themselves out. I, 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 it's no fight on this though. It's weird. It's another lazy fish. You know, and it's always hard to tell because these uh, 12 foot rods make fish feel a lot bigger than my nine foot rods. The nine foot rod, I have more control. Oh yeah, it's a fish, that ain't no stingray. Looks like another red. He just came up. All right, he's in the bar, I can see the dark spot. Or he's on this side of the bar rather, he's coming in. Definitely another bull. That ain't no slot. Makes me wonder why he's not really fighting. He's just being lazy. I wonder if I foul hooked it. You know what? That might be a big ugly. I think it is. If that's a big ugly, it's the first big ugly of the year. Yep, that's a big ugly. Nice. <laughs> oh, I think he is foul hooked. Or no, he's hooked in the mouth and he's got his, the other hook in his fins, what it is. There we go, on the beach. Pull him in a little more, maybe not. Go grab him real quick. There we go, yes! He definitely munching it down. He ate the yellow float and then the leader just wrapped around his fin. That's why he's fighting funny. And that is also a number one owner Mutu light circle hook right there. Dang, it's in there. Yep, there you go. And I ended up breaking the rig, pulling him up. There, get him untangled. There we go, you hear him drumming? This dude's got some bass. First big ugly of the year right there. This is what you look forward to fishing the winter time. This is why I keep coming out here looking for these big old drum, man. Oh, back to back red, then a black drum. That is sweet. Let me get this guy back though. All right, come on, man. Get you in the water. All right. Oh, he kicked right off. Sweet. There he goes. And no joke, I bring these waders out here this time of year specifically for those large drum. If I do catch them, I can put these on, get in the water with them, and make sure I get a good release on them. Winter surf fishing is tough. 
There's no way around it. It's hard every year. It's always a struggle and a lot of skunk days. I mean, I don't make videos of my skunk days. So those people who are watching, don't get discouraged if you're going out there, not catching anything or just catching one fish. Dude, that's just how it is this time of year. And if you do catch a couple fish, to me, that's a successful day this time of year. And if you're looking for a big black drum, this is the time of year to do it. Looking back, all of the big black drum I've ever caught have been between like November and March. So if you're looking for the, one of those big black drums, get, get out of there on the beach and just hope for the best. You're not gonna catch one every time, but you can't catch them from the couch. You gotta go out there, grind it out, look for those big fish. And when you finally do hook one, it feels so good. Hope you all enjoyed this video and until next time, take care and tie lines.